Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go through a problem at a time. We're going to zone in on it. And we're going to try to keep it not so blurry, a little darker, which is good. All right, so problem one. What we're doing here is it's an irregular shape, and we're finding the area of an irregular polygon. Okay, so we have to label up the sides. So AB is 20. Everything's in units. FE is 12. AF, 9. DE, the section, is 12. Find the length of the other two sides. Then we have to find the area. Well, let's look at the two horizontal lines. If the full length is 20 and this part is 12 of it, this little part is what's left over from the 20 if we take out 12, which means we subtract those and we'd get 8. Because if we move this little piece up to go here, we made that same distance. Okay, so we just found DC. So DC equals 8 and we have to find BC. So how to find BC is we take the two verticals, this piece and this piece, and if we move this one over, it makes the rest of the distance. So 12 plus 9 is 21, so that is BC. Okay, now that's just an easy way to remember it. So now we have to find the area, and there's a couple different ways we can do this. I'm just going to get rid of that bold, those bold lines. We can take it and cut it here. And we could do a 20 by 9 and an 8 by 12. Or we can cut it here and do an 8 by 21 and a 12 by 9. It's totally up to you. Either way you do it, as long as you do the math right, you'll get the same answer. I'm more of a cut it this way kind of gal. So I'm going to do a 20 by 9. So area equals either length times width since they're rectangles. So we could use length times width or area equals base times height. Same concept, same letter, same, same amount of letters that we're using. Still a base, still a height, still a length, still a width. It's okay. So we're going to do length times width. Area equals 20 times 9. Area equals 180 units squared. Big A, little t. So this full thing right here is 180. Now we're going to use a 12 by 8. So we have area equals length times width. Area equals 8 times 12. Area equals 96 units squared. Then I have to add the two pieces up. and 276 units squared. That is how we do that. Now, if you did it the other way, you're still gonna get the same answers. What we'll do is on the next one, I'll split it the other way so that you can see it. Actually, I think we'll do this other one. This one's a little different because I think you can understand the middle one just by I don't want my dot cam to flip over, so I have to put some weight on it. All right, so we're going to determine the area of this trapezoid. But what we're going to do is we're going to notice that there's a couple of triangles, and then we have this weird-shaped triangle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this height just so this triangle right here, that one, I have a height for, okay? So just so you saw what I was doing. So this big triangle right here, which is the majority of this shape, we already know formulas, area equals half base height, or base times height divided by 2, it's up to you. So area equals half of 22 times 18, area equals 11 times 18, so if you see that, okay then you can just figure out the math at that point. So you're doing nothing more here than just taking 11 and multiplying it by 18. So you're going to get 
198 meters squared. And that's for that big triangle. So now the only triangle left we have is this weird one over here. Well, we've got its base. So I'm going to put that over here. Area equals half base height. Now remember, you can also use area equals base times height divided by 2. Same concept. Um, let's pull a star by that. So we have half times 3 times 18. Now notice how I used 18 as my height because there's my height right there. So it goes from the top to that bottom. So there's the bottom to the top, same concept. So my height is 18. So I'm going to do half of 18. I don't want to really get into the 1.5 world. So half of 18 is 9. So I have 3 times 9. 27 meters squared. I got to put these two together. So I got 198. It's 27. Two twenty-five meters squared for the one ninety-eight of this big triangle, and then this little triangle over here, all put together. And this, remember, was just for my height. All right. And as always, this is Mrs. Bobby. And I love math.